It's the homogenous uh, mix of people that we have. We have people from all walks of life, from all parts of the world. They're black, white, yellow, and uh, we find that we're beginning to live uh, a lot more safely together and communicating with one another. We have many of the old families that have lived here for three and four generations now. They're staying here. And uh, we're so enthusiastic about that uh, and the fact that their children and their children's children now look to come back here to live. I, I think the best memories of Hoboken are almost related to today. As a boy, I grew up in the kind of fiesta uh, atmosphere uh, in the downtown neighborhoods where they had fiestas maybe uh, five, six times during the summer. And uh, all I received from the people today is, why don't we do it much more than we do? And perhaps we would like to. And maybe we look forward to doing it much more than we do. Put the show on so we can show the people what we can do some stuff. What other tricks can you do? Oh, I could do Ann Nova's nose wheelies, tail, tail wheelies. Ann Nova's on the ramp. I haven't seen nobody else do that yet, but I get it up pretty high now. Who put up, who put up the ramp anyway? That one? Oh, uh, we built it. It took us about a week or two. Well, Where'd you get all the stuff from? That? Oh, we bought that stuff. You we paid it? What? Yeah. We chip in, everybody. We pay for it ourselves. Um, it's good now that it's getting hot, but that, now they gave us some um, river roll, and we keep the ramp there usually. We practice there until we get a, a place to ride everywhere, you know? Now, now tomorrow we'll go to Monster Ball and we'll practice there too. Yeah. yeah. You fellas ever compete? Uh, no, we haven't got anybody to compete against yet. We will want to be an, against anybody. We'll try to beat them if we can. Some spot. That very bold used to do a pack of wine. He was all naked, jumping into the river and all. Yeah.
Good days. It was Scandies, too, if you remember. Remember Scandies? Yeah. Yeah, we used to go swimming there. With nothing on. They used to go to B.A. Beach. I saved two guys' life. You did? Honest to God. Yeah. The guy told me, oh, I know how to swim. Oh, oh, oh. You know how to swim. How do you go? Oh, oh, oh. Here go down. Come here, you son of a bitch. Let's go home. You, you don't realize how high that there, that dock is. The guy on the hollow line don't walk the top deck, and he went into a, into a milk can. Yeah, and three, six months later, they found him. From that day on, I used to jump. So my name is Tony Mosca. You're my brother-in-law, John, right? Yeah. Johnny, Johnny Martini. It's my yeah. sister, Margaret, Louie, all brothers. We Louis come from Mosca. a family of 16, right? Right. Yes, yeah, 16 of us. You want to talk a little about my family? Well, how much can I tell about I'll our family? I'll tell you, say something nice about it. Huh? Say something nice about it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we all, yeah. Mama. We all uh, grew up together. We have a close family. We practically went all to the same. Left. Same school. Yes, there's 12. 12 of us left. Yeah, 12. Out of 16. 12 of us. No, 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 no. That's you right. You found that? All, yeah, we all came in from Went to number home. eight school. We went to number eight school. And how about your great children? And uh, my children went to number eight. My grandchildren went, is, went to number eight. Take it easy. And my great granddaughter will enter number eight, which is uh, Zadie Lankoff School now. We'll enter this December, September. When I went to that school, we had a woman principal. Her name was Miss McCall. Yeah. You had Mr. Sherlock right before I that, had previous Mr. to that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wonderful. I didn't have him. I was a little he younger. Was, he was a wonderful man. Yeah, so... Which school did you go, John? Uh, uh, all of them. Number four, number oh, nine, number three, three, number one. Uh, all of them I went to. No, we, <laughs> we all went to one school. And, uh, well... I wouldn't say we were very poor, but uh, we all... We were a little poorer than poor. Well, tell them how Mama used to make one big pot of butter. Yes. <laughs> tell them how good the crabbing was here up till about three years, three years ago. ago. What did I just say? Just to come in six o'clock in the morning, by eight o'clock it have about 40, 50 crabs. Like the best. A lot of people don't want to eat them out of here. Give me the molly to put them. We've been hanging out down here now, let's say, for the last two years, right? Two, three years. How about your friend? Did he have They're all eating the fish they catch. The <laughs> eels, the stripers, the little uh, tommy cods. Nobody's died yet. Well, she knew, That's how how we had to eat. she knew how to manage. How, how about her, how many in the bed did we children. sleep? Well, we slept really four in the bed. We didn't have no heat. We had body heat. Major Bo's office called me up in 1936 and asked me to make a movie with the orchestra, which was shorts. They were called fighter phone shorts. And I worked for Major Bo's for about a year and a half. And I booked to Sinatra, the Hoboken Four, rather, and he came in on the scene. And uh, never thinking that they, that they called me back again to bring the uh, Hoboken Four over Radio City. It just opened up for an audition. And then uh, Major Bo said, you stay out because you're professional. The band was, rather. And let me just hear the Hoboken Four. And the Hoboken Four won. But you come here, it's like being home again. You know, it's uh, the, the uh, spirit of the people. And uh, he just come from California. It's like home, you know. It's, uh, right, yeah, it's a good transportation town. Where can they go? Get a bus right. to New York? It's a happy West town. New York, New York City, it's the best. Yeah. Mallow Brennan, hey, on the waterfront. These kids all got haircuts there. Remember on the waterfront? Mallow Brennan. Mallow Brennan. We had a famous writer come from Hoboken, yeah. right? And Bloomfield, what was his name? Uh, Bloomfield, somebody's got to know his name. Come from Sixth and Bloomfield. Uh, he was a famous Steven. writer. He was Steven. a poet. Yeah. Was a poet? Was he was Steven? famous? What was his name? No, nah, not Stephen. Uh, Stephen. Uh, yeah, Stephen. Stephen something. Foster, Foster. Stephen Foster, Foster. Foster. Right. Stephen I guess Hoboken. that hits the bell with some yeah, people, right? Yeah. Stephen yeah. Foster. He lived in yeah. Hoboken. He was a popular writer, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Hoboken. He had a room here. Yeah. 